Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my channel today. I have been so excited to make this video. <laughs> so basically what I'm going to share with you today is everything that I have been kind of putting aside for our upcoming Walt Disney World trip. So this trip has been probably a year that I've been planning it and anticipating it. So this is a year's worth of stuff that I've been putting aside in my room for our upcoming trip. So I'm um, taking a look at it now in front of me. It seems a bit overwhelming. I feel like I overshopped, but it's definitely things that I really think are going to be very helpful to have in Disney. And I think they'll be helpful for you too. If you have not thought about purchasing any of these items, they may be something that you would like to have on your upcoming Walt Disney World trip or just any trip in general. And I will try to link in the description below anything that I can find that's um, on Amazon or just easy for you to locate, I will certainly put a link to that below. So I'm excited to show you everything that I got for our upcoming Walt Disney World trip, but I want to let you know that sometime soon, hopefully within the next week or two, I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I got from like either Etsy shops or kind of specialty shops on online specifically for this trip. So um, mainly because I'm still waiting on a lot of those items and they may be arriving like only a couple of days before our trips, hopefully not. Bippity boppity broke if you're listening, please, please send our ears out in time. I'm so worried about that. <laughs> But I do have some amazing ears coming and I have some other fun stuff that I want to share with you guys, but that's going to be a whole nother video because um, otherwise this video honestly is going to be way too long and I was too excited to make this video to wait until the last minute for those other items to come. So here is the big bin <laughs> of stuff and this isn't even all of it, this is just part of it. So um, yeah, it does seem like a lot. This is a bag from 31 and it has all the starfish and stuff on it. It's very beachy and I thought it was appropriate for our upcoming trip at the beach club. So let me get started. Um, you might as well grab yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something and just relax and settle in because I have a lot of stuff here to, to show you guys. Alrighty. First of all, I found this really cool makeup bag from Target and it was on clearance for like 70% off. So I think the normal price was, I don't even know, 20, 30, something like that, somewhere between 20 and $30. And I got it for $4. So I really like this because it's going to house all of my Minnie Mouse ears. I needed a case for my Minnie Mouse ears and I didn't want something very expensive. And I'll just show you the inside. So it has this zipper compartment where I can actually slip ears into. And then it also has another zipper compartment here that I can stick ears into. And then these little side compartments are perfect for putting magic bands. And then on this side, there's another zipper compartment. So this is meant to be like a travel bag for toiletries and things, but look at this. So we have another slot down here and then another slot here. And then there's these two little bags that I'm just going to um, repurpose and use for something else. But this, worked out perfectly. I actually tried it and I managed to fit at least, I think seven or eight of these Minnie Mouse headbands. So I'm really excited for that. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a case for them. And this does have some cushioning and I think it's gonna work out perfect to keep all of my mini ears together. So go check out Target. They might still be on sale. Again, it was like $4 and change, really great deal. I really like to wear tennis shoes to the park, like kind of like Keds or Vans. And the Vans that I've been wearing to Disney the last couple of years are hand-me-downs from my daughter. And I like them because they're really well broken in, but I need a new pair. They're really getting banged up. So I found this pair of Vans and they're navy blue. So I think they'll go with a lot of different things. And I actually got them at a consignment shop. I don't know if they were ever worn at all because going from the soles, they look really, really new. I'm not a fan of buying used shoes, although I do often buy used clothing. Um, 
I just don't like the shoe thing. I don't know why. <laughs> it just grosses me out a little bit more. But these were in uh, like new condition and I think they were about $10 and Vans can be very expensive. So I thought that was a great deal and I'm going to be wearing these on our upcoming trip. I have been wearing them around the house just to make sure they're well broken in, but they're in the bag because they're going with us to Disney. More shoe attire. <laughs> so basically, um, last summer when my daughter had her Sweet 16 party, we filled a blow up pool with multicolored flip flops. And I grabbed a couple of pairs for myself to keep when I go on vacation because I actually did this the last time I went to Disney back in November. Um, even if I'm wearing comfortable sneakers all day, sometimes they just get to be too much. Sometimes your feet just wanna like, not be in sneakers. They want to breathe a little bit. So I remember it was like eight o'clock at night and we were at the Magic Kingdom and I had a pair of flip flops in my backpack and I just switched them off. I had a little bag, put my sneakers in the bag, put the flip flops on and it was so comfortable and it just felt so good to get out of the sneakers for a little while. They were like a dollar at Old Navy on clearance last summer and I had a whole bunch left over from the party. So these are going with me too. I wanted to keep something in my backpack to fill with water and I found this at the Target dollar spot and it's really cute. It just has Mickey and then the Mickey head on this side and it's very light. I didn't want like one of those heavy metal canteens or anything glass. I wanted something super light to keep in my backpack. I don't want to carry around water bottles this year. That's what I did last year and it got really heavy. So I will just fill this with water, drink it and just keep repurposing it. That's the plan and it was I think $3 at Target. I went to the Disney character outlet and I found these cooling cloths. It's the um, instant cooling towel where you wet it and you cool it. What does it say? Wet it, ring it, wave it. It just cools you down. And I don't know if it's gonna really be that hot while we're there, but I figured I might as well bring them with me because I did buy a whole bunch of them when I was at the outlets. I have one for everyone in the family. So this has been put away in my bag here for our upcoming trip. And then I have this little Minnie Mouse chapstick. It's really cute. I um, actually got this in my stocking at Christmas time. So I put that aside too to keep in my backpack for Disney. I just thought it was really cute and it's nice and big. So if I do throw it in my backpack, I'll be able to easily find it. I have a hard time finding little things like lipstick and lip gloss if I just throw it in my backpack. So I have to use like separate pouches to put everything in, but this is nice and big and I'll easily find it. And it's just really cute to have for our trip. So if you've been following my channel, you may recognize some of these items from either previous hauls or from what I got for Christmas because I did a whole video on everything that I got for Christmas and some of the items I have put aside for Disney and I know my family members bought them specifically for our upcoming Walt Disney World trip. But in case you're new to my channel, I'm gonna share them anyway. And one of those items was these really cute Mickey and Minnie luggage tags and it just has a spot on the back where you can fill out your name and address. And I just thought they were really cute and I'm excited to put them on my new suitcase, which is also something that I purchased exclusively for this trip. Well, I shouldn't say exclusively because I'll be using it on other trips too, but specifically with this trip in mind because I really did need a new suitcase and I will just insert a picture of that here, a little video clip from my <laughs> review that I did on it. Um, it was a Samsonite 28 inch spinner luggage and it's really durable. It seems to really hold up well. It's nice and big and I'm going to be able to fit a lot of stuff in it. So um, that was also for this upcoming trip. And then something else that I purchased. Well, I didn't purchase this. This was actually another Christmas gift and you may have seen it, but these are the packing cubes that I have. They're purple and black and they come in three different sizes, but it's a pack of six all together. So this is what they look like. That's them in turquoise, but I actually have them in purple. And um, yeah, I'm excited to use them for the first time on this trip. Again, another Christmas gift that I just tucked away to uh, have for packing for Disney. And then I also found this bag at the consignment shop where I found those Van sneakers. And if you guys watched my what's in my makeup bag video from a trip back in I think 2017, 
It's the same exact Vera Bradley pattern. So I was really excited when I saw this and it was like $12 and I know that makeup bag was a lot more than that. Um, these patterns and all of the Disney print items from Vera Bradley, I feel like are becoming really hard to get and becoming very expensive for that reason. So I was really excited to find this. It's actually a lunch tote and what I have in it now are just some of the toiletries that I'm bringing and I'll show that to you too. But this year I'm going Going to be using Amazon Prime now. So I'm going to pretty much have everything shipped directly to the resort. We're staying DVC, so I need groceries and drinks. And I'm also just going to have like my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, um, you know, dish detergent, laundry detergent, all of that stuff sent directly to the room, which will save a lot of space and weight in my suitcase. But I do have a few items that I picked up and I'm just keeping them here in my little lunch too. And I know I'll find plenty of good reasons to use the little lunch show on our trip as well if I want to bring drinks or snacks to the park um, if I want to bring something to the pool with me I'm sure I will have lots of reasons to use it so here are just some of the toiletry items that I picked up I always pick up a bunch of these guys. They're only like a dollar. Um, I think I even found these for like 75 cents or something at, uh, I don't know if it was Walgreens or CVS, somewhere, and they were really cheap. So I picked up some of these, and then I also picked up these little two-in-one soap pouches because it is a lot easier to pack a little bar of soap and not have to worry about it um, exploding or making a mess. And you just kind of slip the bar of soap in here and you wash yourself. So I got two of those. I got one for myself and one for my daughter. So here are the two different colors. And then you can see I already have a bar of soap tucked in there. And I just picked up the Shea Moisture Olive and Green Tea Shea Butter Soap. Um, trying to go with healthier products. This rated really well on the Think Dirty app, which is an app that you can use to scan items and just see like how safe they are. If there's a lot of chemicals in it, it just kind of gives you on a scale from zero to 10. And this was super low on the scale. So I figured I'm gonna bring a bar of soap with me. <laughs> I picked up some nail files because lately my nails have been horrible. They've been really brittle this whole winter, so definitely need those. And then I have a little bar of soap holder because I have another, like I just sliced off a piece of soap from another bar that I have here for my daughter in the event that she wants to use that. So that's in here as well. And then I am packing just one sponge because whenever I go to like, I don't know, any place where they provide sponges for you, it's never the kind that I like. And I really like this type that's like abrasive on one side and then it has the sponge on the other side. And they usually come in a pack of, I think three or four. So um, rather than paying Amazon to send me a whole big pack of them, I just am packing the one sponge and then I have one of these little travel toothbrush and toothpaste kits for my daughter Madison um, it has like everything that you need in it including the little cover for the top of the uh, toothbrush so I'm sure you guys have seen these before at like the dollar store but I got that for her as well I'm trying to go so fast guys <laughs> because there's a lot here and I don't want this to be too long Oh my gosh, we're already at 15 minutes. I don't even know how that's possible. All right, so I also picked up this Man Mai is the name of the brand. Well, anyway, it's a power bank and this thing holds a lot of power. I used it um, on the train last night coming home from New York City and my phone was practically dead and like in no time it charged right up. So I like that it has a little flashlight on the end and then when you turn it on, it also tells you like um, how much percentage, I don't know if you can see with the light, how much percentage you have left on it. So it's really a great gadget. It's a little bigger and heavier than some other power banks, but it really holds that much more power, I think. So this was definitely well worth it. I got it at Amazon and I will leave a link for this below. While I was in New York, I picked up a little fanny pack. I wanna try to use the fanny pack um, to have things easily accessible on my trip. I also have a new backpack that I purchased that I'll show you in a second. Um, but having just the easy 
easy accessibility to the fanny pack, especially for like maybe my camera, is going to be really nice because taking the backpack on and off can be really annoying after a while. And this was only $9.99 at Urban Outfitters. I got a really great deal on it. So that is coming with me to Disney as well. Something else that I picked up is one of these little mini tripods. This is by Manfrotto. And um, a lot of these items I've been testing recently to make sure that I like them before I actually bring them to Disney with me. And this has really worked out well for my little vlogging camera. So I'm glad that I have this for our upcoming trip because I plan on doing lots of vlogs to share with you guys. And then this is a piece of jewelry that a friend of mine purchased for me and she gave this to me for Christmas, but I put it away for our upcoming trip. It just has a little sparkly Mickey head on it, and I like that it's like kind of silver and gold, so you can wear it with either type of jewelry, and I just think it's really pretty, so I put it away for our trip. Okay, so <laughs> here is the backpack that I purchased for our Disney trip. I'm trying to go a little bit smaller this year and I have gone to New York um, twice in the past two weeks. So I used it for those day trips just to give it a good trial run and make sure that it's gonna work out well for me. And so far, so good. I like how it has all these uh, little different compartments. I know I spoke about this backpack on a previous video. So um, if I can find that video or think which one it was, <laughs> I'll link it in the description above if you just wanna see more of the backpack itself but if I can't find it, no worries, because I'm totally gonna do a what's in my backpack video. That'll be coming soon as well. And yeah, it's been working out really good. Okay, a couple of more items, and then I'm going to move on to basically clothing, just all clothing items that I purchased for myself, and then some things that I purchased for my kids. So I'll do that like at the very end of the video in case you have absolutely um, no interest in seeing the kids stuff, but it is really cute. Even if you don't have kids that you're shopping for, it's just cute. But anyway, I picked up a bunch more of these gallon size bags because, I use these for packing my children's clothing. Um, I'll leave a link above for this one because I do describe exactly how I pack for myself and my kids. But one of my favorite things to do is to write the name of the park on the bag and to put kind of themed clothing in the bag as well so that when we're going to say Hollywood Studios, they just pull the Hollywood Studio bag and they know exactly what they're wearing. I'll do it as long as they let me. <laughs> my son is 14. I'm still getting away with doing it for him. We'll see how it goes this year. My youngest is eight. She's totally cool with it. And my high school daughter, like, forget it. I don't know. There's no way she's letting me pick out her clothes for the trip. So um, yeah, that's where we're at. And this is some exciting stuff that I picked up um, in New York when we were at Mickey the true original exhibit in New York City. Hopefully you guys have already seen that vlog by now. Um, I'm hoping to post that before I post this. So you can go ahead and check out the link in the description and see that. That was really, really a fun day. But anyway, at the end of the exhibition, they had this really cool thing where you could kind of make your own t-shirt. So you picked out the t-shirt, you picked out like the iron on um, applique that they put on it. And then they also had like really nice embroidered patches. So so we made our own t-shirts and they were really inexpensive. I think they were like $16 about that with everything, which isn't bad at all. <laughs> so here's the one that Madison made. It's this really pretty vibrant blue color and then that's the patch that she chose, this little Minnie Mouse patch. And then on the back she had this uh, Minnie Mouse iron-on applique thing, <laughs> but it's really cute. And then I also like that on the inside, it has like the label for the um, exhibition, which is pretty cool. Like it's a nice memento to keep forever. So I thought that was a nice souvenir to bring home and something great to have for our Disney trip. And then I'll show you the one that my daughter Emily made. So hers is like this pretty cornflower blue and she picked the Steamboat Willie patch to put in the corner. And then on the back, she picked out this little Mickey Mouse. And then finally, I'll show you mine. So here is mine. I picked out this patch, which says the original Mickey Mouse, which is very appropriate for the exhibit. And then on the back, it has the same, actually the same um, little iron on Mickey that Emily had. And I just think it's really cute. It's like very casual. I probably could even wear it 
with a pair of leggings or jeans and it'll be great for the trip. So that was fun buying those items with the trip in mind. And then there's one other thing that I got at the exhibit and it's actually something that I wanted to purchase before our trip, which is a Mickey lanyard. And what I like about this is it has like these little slots where you can keep credit cards. And then on the back, you can keep like your license or whatever here, or whatever type of card you want. It has this little clasp and then it has the lanyard. And then there's the little uh, dangle charm thing that says Mickey's True Original. But the reason I really wanted to get this was because usually I don't need anything in the parks except for my magic bands. But this year, not only am I Disney Vacation Club, I'm going to be an annual pass holder, yay! <laughs> I'm so excited to pick up my annual pass. I did purchase it, but I didn't activate it yet, so I don't actually have it. And once I have those things, I wanna put them all in here so that I can get my discounts because DVC members and annual pass holders get a variety of different discounts in the park, but you do need to show both your ID and either your DVC card or your annual pass holder card. So this has two slots for those two items, pass holder, DVC, and then I can put my license on the back and hopefully I can just use this clip to clip it somewhere inside my backpack and I will be good to go. So that's why I got this and I think it's really cute. I love how colorful it is. So yeah. Those were my souvenirs that I got from uh, the exhibit in New York and I'm using all of them on my upcoming trip. All right, let's move on to clothing and you can see one of the items that I'm wearing right now. It's by LuLaRoe, it's the Randy top and this one's in an extra, extra small. It has mini going all up and down the sleeves. I really think it's cute, really cozy. The um, these Randy tops really fit me well, and I wanted to have really comfortable clothes for this trip, which is why I picked up quite a bit of LuLaRoe items here that I'm gonna show you right now. I have another Randy. This is the one that my mom got me for Christmas, and it has Mickey all on the front just all Mickey heads and then the sleeves are gray. And then this one you can see is much bigger. It's actually, it's a small, but it runs really big on me. So um, this one I'm just going to be wearing with black leggings. That's probably what I'll wear on the plane ride to Disney to be comfortable. And I did get some black LuLaRoe leggings. And if you are a fan of LuLaRoe, you know how hard it could be to find that. They're super soft and it is hard. Um, as far as I know, it always has been really hard to get LuLaRoe in like solid colors, especially black. So I thought this was great because it's gonna go great with that top. And then I picked up some really cute leggings that are prints. And this one has Mickey heads all over them. They are soft as butter. They are just so soft and comfortable. So I don't know if I'm going to wear this on the plane ride home or if I'm gonna wear it in the parks. We're gonna have laundry, so if I decide I want to wear them multiple times, I do have that option, which is really nice. And then these are my last pair of leggings, but look at how cute these are. So these are like Alice in Wonderland themed, and I don't know if you can see in the pattern here, but it's the Queen of Hearts, and there's all like the hearts and the roses, painting the roses red. Yeah, I love these. <laughs> so both of these pairs of leggings, I just think are adorable and I know they're gonna be really comfortable for the trip. And I did get a couple of like long black tops to go with it. I'm not quite sure what the weather is going to be. Currently it's going to be like in the 70s and then in the 50s at night. So I did get like a long sleeve top just a plain black LuLaRoe top. And then I have a like three quarters sleeve top as well. Actually, no, this, I don't know. This looks like it's short sleeve. It like goes down to your elbow. So I have that one. And then finally I picked up some sports bras from Victoria's Secret pink. And this one, it's just uh, the late support sports bra and it has the halter in the back. And I just found it to be really comfortable. They were on sale for about $10 when I bought it. So I did buy a couple and I just wanna be comfortable when I'm in the park. So I'm probably going to bring those sports bras to wear. 
I hope that you enjoyed this video so far. I know it's a lot of stuff. Hopefully some of these ideas are of interest to you. Now I'm going to show you some of the kids items that I got and um, one of the things that I'm excited about is my daughter's best friend is coming to Disney the same time that we are so that our girls can get together and go on rides together and it's going to be a lot of fun. And they're clients of mine as well so you guys know if you follow me I do always like to do some kind of a nice little gift for my clients. So let me show you what I got for Madison and her friend. Okay, so we went to Justice and then we found these tops that say better together and you can see the arrow and then this one, it's in another color, but then it has an arrow going the other way. So they kind of like point to each other, if you can see that. <laughs> so I thought that was really cute. And then a while back, I purchased these ears from Forever 21 and the uh, markdown price on it was $5, but I think I got it even cheaper than that. They were like on super duper clearance. They were probably only a dollar or two. And I just thought that would be really, really cute. So I'm going to give her friend one of those tops with the ears. And then I also got them each these um, Moana water bottles, which I thought were really cute. They can have little matching water bottles as well. And so what I'm going to do with these little water bottles for the girls is they're each going to get these little drawstring bags. Um, the travel agency that I work for, Mickey World Travel, we have these drawstring bags. I have red, is that upside down? Yes it is. <laughs> I have it in red. And then I also have it in this blue color. So they're each going to get one of those with their water bottles. And then I also got them some ponchos to keep in their bags as well because you always have to be prepared for rain in Disney. <laughs> if you're new to Disney, go prepared. You never know when you're gonna get a rainstorm and get soaked or just to have for a water ride. So these are always great. And this is not necessarily new, but she is in my bag because we are going to do Tinkerbell in a hotel. Um, this is something that was introduced to me by the Neverland family. And it's the whole idea of bringing a Tinkerbell doll with with you to your hotel room and you sprinkle her with, with a pixie dust and then she kind of works like elf on the shelf so she keeps an eye on you all day make sure you're on your best behavior and then if you are being good on your trip you might just get a little present in the morning or in the evening when you return from the parks so i thought that would be fun to do this year so tinkerbell is coming with us i got some swim trunks for my son patrick because he is growing like a weed and his swim shorts from last summer already don't fit him. So staying at the beach club, we definitely want bathing suits because I plan on swimming. And then for my daughter Madison, we got this adorable little bikini from Justice. Look at this top, it's like a mermaid print, a little halter top. So I thought that was super cute. And then she picked out these adorable flip flops and they're sparkly and they have little ice cream cones on it. So I thought those were cute. I like ice cream themed things, especially for Disney because you know, there's so many famous ice creams in Disney. You have the Dole Whip and the Mickey bars, and then we have Beaches and Cream at our resort and Ample Hills right across the way. So the ice cream cones were very fitting. As is this shirt, because we are there for Festival of the Arts. And look at this, it has like a paintbrush and it's just a painted heart with all rainbow colors. And it says, imagine, create, love. And I just thought that was perfect for Festival of the Arts. So she'll be wearing this when we go to Epcot. You guys may have seen this on my Instagram. Uh, Madison got a lot of unicorn themed gifts this year for Christmas. And this couldn't be more perfect for her. It's a unicorn mini ear headband. And she loves it so much. And she's going to look adorable wearing this in Disney. And of course, I got her some LuLaRoe as well. They have really cute girl outfits. This is the May. That's the name of the dress. And I like that it has little pockets and it just has um, Minnie Mouse's head all over it. It's really soft and very light and comfortable. So she picked this out herself. She really likes it. And then we have some leggings for her, of course, too. So these are Thumper. And they're so cute. And then she also has these Minnie Mouse pants as well, which are super cute. This really cute top that says, beauty is found within. That was from Target. 
is what she'll be wearing to the Beast Castle. <laughs> Without a doubt, look at this beautiful bell dress. It's so pretty. And this was on clearance at Target for $13.98. So it's like all chiffon on the bottom and then the top is really silky and pretty. And then there's like the flower or a belt in the front. So I thought this would be perfect for our dinner at the Beast Castle, it's so pretty. And then finally, I got her some cute Minnie Mouse pajamas. When I cleaned out her drawers the other day, I realized she didn't have very many pajamas at all, so I thought these were really adorable. Mickey and Minnie with all the hearts kind of appropriate for Valentine's Day, and she was excited to get those, so that was super cute. All right, that was everything. <laughs> I think this is a half an hour long. I'm sorry, I hope you made it till the end, I really do, and if you did, thank you so much. Give this video a big thumbs up if you made it this far, I am so proud of you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to kind of collect all of these items throughout the year, building up the excitement and anticipation for the trip. It's just, um, it's a great and fun thing to do. So if you don't do that, you might think about getting a box or a bin or a bag of sorts and just keeping it in your closet or your room. And throughout the year or the months that you're planning your trip, just kind of tuck things away. And then when it's time to pack, it's really exciting because it's like you have all of these new things, but it doesn't seem like you really spent very much on them because you were buying them for so long and hopefully on clearance for the most part. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Um, make sure you hit the bell notification so that I can update you every time I have a new and fun video to share. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye.